Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Sys module and then I will explain file system. In this file system topic, I will explain OS module. Guys, I have uploaded a complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Sys module is predefined module in Python. That is nothing but this module is already present in Python. So there is no need of separately installing it. This Sys module will provide information about Python interpreter. By using this Sys module, we can also find information about constants, functions and methods that are present in Python interpreter. By using import keyword, you can import any module. So in order to use Sys module, just you need to write import Sys in Python. Next I will explain file system. File system is nothing but directory. Directory is nothing but folder. How to create folders by using Python programming. In order to create folders by using Python programming, you need to import OS module. Python OS module provides the facility to establish interaction between user and operating system. That is nothing but by using OS module, user and operating system can interact with each other. That is nothing but user will create folder in operating system. This OS module is built in module in Python. That is nothing but this module is already present in Python. So there is no need of separately creating this module. Just by using import keyword, you can import this module and you can use. In order to import OS module, just you need to write import. That is nothing but import keyword and OS. Now you can start using this module. I'll give an example. Guys, these are various types of functions that are available in OS module. First one is mkdir that is nothing but make directory, directory is nothing but folder. So in order to create folder we need to use mkdir function and next one is rename. In order to rename your folder you need to use rename function and rmdir that is nothing but remove directory and in order to remove your folder you need to use rmdir and next one is chdir that is nothing but change directory. I want to change location where the file is going to be saved. So in order to change location, you need to use chdir function. And next one is get cwd function. That is nothing but get current working directory. Where my file is going to be saved, it will display that location. By using get cwd function, we can find location where my file is going to be saved. I will explain all these functions by giving example. So at first you need to import OS module. So just write here import OS and next write here OS dot get current working directory. For example, if you open command prompt in desktop location, then your file will be saved in desktop location. For example, if you open command prompt in local disk D, then your file will save in local disk D. I opened command prompt in desktop location and I opened Python. Now inside this I am writing import OS and next I written OS dot with this OS is module name dot and I written get CWD function that is nothing but get current working directory. So it will display location that is desktop. So your file will be saved in desktop location. For example, I want to create one folder in desktop. So at first I written here import OS and next I am writing here OS dot mkdir. In order to create any folder, you need to use mkdir function that is nothing but make directory. So write here mkdir, take brackets and inside this write folder name. I want to create folder named python. So just write here python. Whenever you run this line of code, it will create one folder in desktop location with name python. It will create one folder, that folder name is python. For example, I don't want to create folder in desktop location. I want to create folder in local disk D. So just write here OS dot mkdir. I want to create folder in local disk D. So just write here D python. Whenever you run this line of code, it will create one folder named python in local disk D. Guys, definitely give here double quotations or else it will display error. Now I want to change this folder name python to python3. So just write here os dot by using rename function we can rename any folder. So just write here rename. So take os dot where os is module name dot rename. I want to rename python which is present in local disk D. So just write here local disk D python. Take this in double quotations comma and I want to change this folder name python to python3. So just write here python3 in double quotations. So whenever you run this line of code then it will change this folder name python to python3. I want to delete this folder python3. So just write here os dot rmdar. That is nothing but remove directory. In order to delete any folder, you can use rmdir function. That is nothing but remove directory function. Inside brackets, you need to write your folder name. I want to remove python3. So it will remove this folder python3. Normally, if you open command prompt in desktop location, then your folders will be saved in desktop location. Now, I want to change location. I don't want to save folders in desktop location. I want to save folders in local disk D. So I need to change location. 
in order to change location you need to use chdir function that is nothing but change directory it will change location so just write here import os os dot by using chdir you can change location chdir is nothing but change directory so just write here os dot chdir i want to change location to local disk d so just write here local disk d now whatever the folder that you create it will be saved on local disk d for example i want to create one folder so just write here os dot by using mkdir function you can create folder that is nothing but make directory I want to create folder. That folder name is btech. So just write here btech. I did not given any location. Just I given folder name that is btech because I change the location to local disk D. So it will create btech folder in local disk D. Guys, for example, I want to open Notepad. Just write here os dot. You can use system function. Just write here system. I want to open Notepad. Just write here Notepad. Whenever you write this line of code and click enter. automatically it will open notepad for example i want to open chrome just write here os dot system inside the system function you need to write chrome so automatically it will open chrome guys let us consider this example there is one folder that folder name is python which is present in local disk d and this folder contains three files they are file image and first where file is txt file and img is image and first is python file Now I want to check what are the files that are present inside this Python folder by using OS module. So just write here import OS and next OS dot list dir. That is nothing but list directory. This list dir function will display all files that are present in my folder. Just write here OS dot list dir. I want to check what are the files that are present in Python folder which is present in local disk D. So just write here D and this folder name is Python. Whenever you write this line of code and click enter. You will get output. What are the files? Total there are three files. It will represent output in the form of list. So inside square brackets you will get output that is file dot txt in single quotations comma image dot jpeg and other file is first dot py. These are three files. So it will represent output in the form of list. But I don't want to get output in the form of list. I want to get output like this file dot txt. and in next line it should print image.jpeg and again in next line it should print first.py so i want to get output like this just write here import os and i took here variable that is a equal to os dot list dir that is nothing but list directory this folder is present in local disk d with name python i am storing this command in variable a and next i took here for i in a whatever the files that are present in python folder it will store all those files in variable i and whenever you write here print i you will get output file dot txt and in next line image dot jpeg and again in next line first dot py because print i is nothing but by default it will take slash n 